Hi everyone, I'm John and welcome to the Fit Life channel where I talk about fitness, review tech, and share my experiences creating videos for YouTube. But this video is not about myself, but for you. Have you ever wondered how the low light video performance is between the Sony ZV-1 compact digital camera is compared to the Sony Xperia Pro i smartphone? I've always been curious how they compare to each other because they both share the same sensor and Sony promotes the Sony Xperia Pro i as a replacement for your compact digital camera. Let's go check out how their auto video performance and autofocusing capabilities perform in low light scenes in this week's video. I will be using each camera's 24 millimeter lens because they share the same 1.0 type sensor. However, the Sony Xperia Pro i uses a cropped version, but let's see if that hinders its performance in low light. There's a lot going on to create the final output for a video recording, and Sony may have some tricks up its sleeves to compensate for that cropped sensor. The lighting that I'll be using are standard lamps and LED bulbs that you can find in most people's homes or offices. I will also have natural sunlight coming in through a window that is facing me here. I'll use each camera's intelligent auto mode because that's what most people use for their compact digital cameras or their smartphones. All right, let me switch out this Sony ZV-E10 for the Xperia Pro i and uh, let's get this comparison going. Oh, and if you're wondering why I didn't use the Xperia Pro i here in this intro, well, it does have an issue with overheating in temps that are 30 degrees Celsius plus. And right now in my micro studio, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. It's I hope the Xperia Pro I can make it through this comparison. Right now you are looking at the Sony ZV-1 right here and the Sony Xperia Pro I here off to my right. Now both of these cameras are going to have their aperture set to f2.0 because for the Sony Xperia Pro i, it only has two apertures of f2.0 and f4.0. Exposure is gonna be set to zero or flat for both of these cameras, and the white balance will also be set to auto. So once again, settings that most people will probably keep it at if they are using these cameras. Now for the audio for each camera, here on the Sony Xperia Pro i is a Rode video mic, and on the Sony ZV-1, I am using the Sony ECM W2 B2 wireless microphone system. And you can see the ECM LV1 lapel microphone on my uh, shirt collar here. Now I have all lights on inside my room. So here in front of me, I have a standing floor lamp. I have a little bit of sunlight coming in through a tinted window. I have an overhead light here and I have an accent light off to my left and another one off to my right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch off each one so that we can check how the video performance and autofocusing capability is for each of these cameras in these different types of lighting situations. For the ZB-1 here, the ISO is at 400 and the shutter speed is one over 50. For the Sony Xperia Pro i, the ISO is at 640 and the shutter speed is 1 over 48. Now, let me go ahead and switch off the overhead light. For those who are viewing this video on smaller displays such as smartphones, the end of each lighting scenario will have cropped screenshots from the ZV-1 and Xperia Pro i. This will give you a better view of their video image clarity and sharpness. You can also see how each camera's auto mode handles the luminance, tone, and color characteristics for each lighting scenario from histograms and vector scopes in DaVinci Resolve 18. Okay, overhead light is off. Right now, the ISO is still at 500 for the Sony ZV-1. Shutter speed is still the same, one over 50. Before I came over here, I had to check the screen on the Xperia Pro i because I don't have a monitor here 
on the back of it. And the ISO is now at 1000. The shutter speed is still the same at 1 over 48. What I'm going to do now is shut off this floor lamp that's shining in my face right now. This is very interesting. Right now on the Sony ZV-1, the ISO is switching between 2000 to 2500. It's, it's going back and forth. The shutter speed is still 1 over 50. On the Xperia Pro I here, it's staying at a constant 2000. So it's very interesting that despite the Sony ZV-1 having a full 1.0 type sensor, uh, it's doing this with its ISO. But on the Xperia Pro I, it's remaining at a constant 2000. Now, let me go ahead and shut off the accent lights here and over here. And all I will have in my face is uh, the sunlight coming from my tinted window. Okay, so you can probably see here, I have some light on my face from the uh, sunlight. The ISO now on the ZV-1 is at 4000 and the shutter speed is 1 over 50. On the Sony Xperia Pro I, it's maxed out at 6400. Shutter speed is still at 1 over 48. Now, because I don't have a monitor on the back of the Xperia Pro I, I can't tell if the ISO is fluctuating or not. If it is doing so, you might notice it during the video. Now for the autofocusing performance for both of these cameras, looking at the Sony ZV-1, it's been maintaining that eye tracking box the entire time throughout these different uh, lighting scenarios. I can't tell for sure on the Xperia Pro I because once again, I don't have a monitor for the back of this. Now there is an external vlog monitor that you can get for this phone. So if you want to monitor your settings all the time, especially in low light, uh, it might be a good idea to pick that up. All right, for the last test, I'm just gonna close the curtain on my window and let's see how both of these cameras, video quality and autofocusing performance is with very little light. All right, so I closed the curtain to my window and uh, you can tell it's pretty dark in here. Now for the Sony ZV-1, it is uh, 6400, but it dropped the shutter speed down to one over 25. It's flashing, also the uh, exposure reading is flashing too. And it went from an eye tracking box to a face tracking box here. Now, when I looked at the Xperia Pro I before I came over here, it looked pretty dark. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, we shall see later in the video uh, how the scene came out. So now you can see the advantage of having that full 1.0 type sensor and lower light conditions. You can still see uh, myself, unlike the Sony Xperia Pro I. On a sad note, my Xperia Pro I is already giving me overheating warnings. And in the past, I've had it just shut down on me when it got too hot. So uh, I need to finish this video up. And uh, I've only been recording this portion for about five minutes. So <laughs> not a good sign for the Xperia Pro I. In 30 degrees plus uh, temperature, it, below that it, it does fine. All right, let me turn the lights back on so I can uh, close off this video. So in the end, the Sony ZV-1's full 1.0 type sensor does have an advantage over the cropped one on the Xperia Pro I when it comes to low light videos. But I think as long as you're not gonna be filming in near darkness or complete darkness, the Xperia Pro I does have some great advantages over the ZV-1. 
I can tell you right now the battery is about to go on the ZV-1 and I've only been recording this for about maybe 10 minutes. The Xperia Pro is going strong. So there are plenty of videos and reviews out there that you can check out showing the advantages and disadvantages for both of these cameras. All right, everyone, I hope this information was helpful for you. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and uh, tap that like button. Until next time, stay safe, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video. Just in the nick of time, right at the end of this video, the Xperia Pori just shut off. So, <laughs> lucky. And it's extremely uh, hot to the touch. I, I can't even touch the back of it. And I've said this many times in previous videos, Sony really needs to do something uh, with the next generation of the uh, Xperia Pro-I. All right, see you everyone.